Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, we are using John Holland's Psychic Tarot of the Heart deck. We're going to be using Kyle Gray's Angel Answers and then also Tony Carmine Salerno's Ask an Angel deck. And we're going to hopefully have a short reading with just three cards. Let's see if I have this lined up. I should have them zoomed in enough that you guys can see them. Perfect. Okay. This card, and it's funny how it's aligned with, you know, energetically what's going on. Because we have starting off with movement, choices, and decisions. So let's do something. Let's make those decisions. Let's take those actions. Because this is a card that talks about making choices, making decisions in order to progress forward. That is what it's all about. And if you look in this card, you have money, rings, you've got like this, um, this branch, and you've got clouds, and it really is. So there's a broad range of decisions that a number of you are trying to make. Some of you are trying to make decisions about love. Some of you are trying to make financial decisions, partnership, union, commitments, contracts, legal contracts, business decisions, business ventures, career changes. There's a lot of things at stake, a lot of things that are being considered at this time. But they're saying those of you in this those of you in this situation, you already know what the right decision is. You have been contemplating and overthinking it. They're saying most of you have just constantly you've overthought it so much that it's actually causing additional complications, um, additional lack of clarity. Because you know when, you, when you're trying to make a decision, you know you'll you'll pray, you'll meditate, you'll you'll try to get the answers, and then when you get to the point that you know you have the answers, maybe you don't agree with those, or maybe you don't like them because they're too much work, or you know maybe we just don't, you know we're fearful, you know maybe we've got um, we're planning to start our own business and, and we're fearful that you know it's going to be a complete flop and we're going to be left dirt poor and unable to provide for ourselves and our family or maybe we have this love of a lifetime you know you've got two rings here and that's talking about commitment marriage relationship and it's actually you've got a little, oh, that's the first time i've ever noticed that there's actually a heart right in there as well maybe you're contemplating marriage but you're thinking back, ooh, I remember last time I got married and that really burnt, that really left a mark. I don't want that to happen again. But because of fear, worries, doubt, but it's all stemming in a place of fear, regardless of what the situation is, you're overthinking, overanalyzing, overcomplicating the situation is what they're saying. When they're saying it's just time to make, to make a decision. And the good thing is, <laughs> for most of you in this situation, you already know what the decision is. You just need to act on it. You just need to act on it. The path has been cleared. The foundation has been laid. It's just overcoming your fear and making a decision, making that choice, making that decision and stepping forward. Why are they saying uncloak yourself? So if you look in this card, if we can get it so it doesn't have a glare. You see how this figure, he's like, he's cloaked. Oh, it's really close. <laughs> Anyhow, he's, he's totally cloaked. He has, he has a scarf. Ah, he has a scarf wrapped around his face, a hat. He's fully clothed in a robe and shoes. He's hiding from himself. It's interesting. They're saying some of you are um, hiding from yourself. So there's a, uh, the Casanova traditional tarot deck. It's interesting that when you look at the traditional, when you look at the Casanova deck, you know, you'll have some people that are clothed and masked and some people that are not masked. It, it's a sign, it's an indication of being transparent being honest with yourself as well as others, it, 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 communication. It's, um, so some of you, they're saying some of you that are in this situation, let's say it's with love. You have a potential love interest or someone that you're letting go, you're releasing, you're masked, you're hiding. So they're saying some of you are not wanting to see the truth that is before your face. It is so blaringly obvious. You refuse to see the truth and accept it for what it is. And some of you in an effort to avoid that have turned to alcohol. You're drinking alone late at night. Some of you have turned to drugs. Some of you have turned to um, gambling. You've turned elsewhere because fear, fear is what's keeping you from seeing, the, from seeing the truth. Fear is what's keeping you from taking those steps forward, from making the decision, making that choice, moving forward. But you can no longer run and hide. They're saying you're, you've come up, up against a wall now. They're saying to, to run and hide in fear is doing nothing. It's not... It's not um, it's jeopardizing health for some of you because they're bringing up the green. Green is, green is an indicator of, it's Archangel Raphael's color. It's a, it's a color of health, well-being. 
some of you with the decisions and things that you're doing and choosing to do an effort to run from those choices, run from, if for some it's, it's, it's running from accepting the truth, running from having to make a choice and move forward. For some they're saying, oh, owning up to choices and things that you have done in the past. And so you've made a choice or a decision in the past and you're fearful that that decision is what's going to block you from the happiness, from the things that you desire. It's not going to, but that fear is what's sending you off track. So th for those of you that are looking at other means to, or other things to focus on, drinking, drugs, extracurricular activities, <laughs> um, that aren't supporting your well-being, they're really encouraging you to overcome your fears and move forward. Because for some, well, for everyone that's in that situation, it's going to con continue, they're, sh they're pointing out this knife that that angel's holding. It's going to continue to keep you in this place of pain, sorrow, isolation. For some of you, you feel very desolate, very alone, very wounded. So for some of you, you've been cut, you've been hurt by someone else. You're not you're not accepting the truth that that person does not have your intentions at heart. You're refusing to accept that and see that move forward. For some, it's, you know, overcoming things of the past that you think you did or you didn't do. Um, overcoming fears, worries, doubts. But it's got you in a place of isolation, sadness, sorrow. They're trying to help you break free of that. Allow them to help you break free of that. It's time. It's time for you to break free. Now the next card we have here is don't, it says don't hate, meditate. And at the bottom it says thank you angels for guiding me to love through meditation. And okay, so for those of you that are, you know, you're trying to make a decision, trying to finally make this choice so you can finally move forward, you can take off some of these layers and clothing, but um, you're wanting to break free. You're wanting to break free into these blue clouds, into the things that you desire. But you're overwhelmed by anger, frustration, sadness, sorrow, depression. Some of you deceit, you know, they've got the knife. You know, you've had someone that you love dearly that deceived you, that hurt you, that wounded you. And you're kind of stuck and wondering, okay, where do I go from here? But this is kind of a message twofold. So you're getting a lot of signs and a lot of messages and a lot of guidance from, you know, God and angels. They're really, really trying to help you and assist you with this decision. You've had so many signs and synchronistic act events, activities, you just can't even, I mean, you would have to bury your head in the ground to not notice them. They're so blatantly obvious and in your face. Love yourself enough to trust them. You see this angel, she's completely cloaked in pink. Pink is the color that um, speaks of love, pure, true love from God, from heaven. From, um, and it's all areas of love, love of family, love with, you know, a lover, a spouse, a partner, um, love for yourself. They're saying love yourself enough to trust that guidance. Trust the information you're getting. They're not going to lead you astray. They're not leading you to another path where you're going to get hurt or you can get... And the Lenormans, and we may pull some Lenormans before we're all said and done. There's this card, the, the birch, the sky. It, it talks of, you know, essentially being whipped. Very painful. By a branch. You are not going to go through anything painful again. You have, you've completed that phase. They're trying to get you to move forward to things that are not painful, to things that are joyful. For some of you, they're trying to get you to stop looking at the past. If you look, so traditionally, if we did a nine card spread, or even if we did a traditional three card spread, typically what you have is the first card is the past, middle card would be the present, next card would be the future. So you go from past to future as you move from the left to the right. Depending upon which direction the figure is facing, gives an indication whether they're looking to the present future or past. You notice this angel, she's looking toward the past. Many of you are fearful of making this decision and moving forward because you're stuck in the past where you have been hurt. You have been wounded by someone. And they're saying it's someone. It wasn't a situation. It was someone. Or for some, it was a group of people with one person in the lead, um, one key person. Has wounded you, has hurt you. They're saying, for many, wounded your heart, hurt your heart. You felt deceived. This was someone that you loved, that you had a connection with that hurt you. They're saying uh, communication, blue is the color of communication. Many of you, that person deceived you, lied to you, stole from you, purposefully was miscommunicating with you. For some, they were leading you to believe that they loved you simply because they were using you for their own gain, their own financial gain for most. So for those of you in this situation, being used for financial gain and, uh, they're saying for some, for, for help, some things that they needed help with, assistance with. But when they would get what they want, then they would, you know, set you free. But it was cloaked in miscommunication, deception, deceit, trickery, 
but it's left you stuck, lonely, sad, fearful of moving forward at this point. And the time has come for you to move forward. But you have to shift your perspective from the past and move it toward the future. And angels are trying to help you with that. So take the time to go inward and think about what it, what is it that you desire? What is it that you really want? If you want to start your own business, if you want to start the love of a lifetime, if you want to start a family, or if you just want to do something small, though they're saying, for those of you in this, it's a big, it's a big decision. This isn't a, where do I want to go for my next vacation? What? Hey, try to make this applicable to as many people as possible. Maybe you're trying to decide where to go for vacation, <laughs> but um, it's a big decision, which is why you've been stuck on it for so long. But they're encouraging you to go inward. Love yourself enough to face the truth, to face the facts, and most importantly, face your fears. Love yourself enough to visualize and imagine and think of the things that you desire, and then take the action, the steps necessary to move toward that. And if there are any areas that you're still uncertain, they are going to provide you illumination. That last card that we have, this is illumination. And um, because for some of you, you're, you're okay. You've had to let things go. It was a quick, swift decision for some. For some, you've been thinking about it and sitting on it for a very long time. But you're fearful of moving forward because of things that have happened in the past. You're fearful you're going to have to relive that. It's just a lot of fear. Because they're saying that there's, there's uncertainty. So you're getting ready to make this decision. You're like, oh, okay, I'm still not sure. I don't have the clarity. I'm, I'm fearful. Okay, if I, what if I take that leap of faith and I get stabbed again in the back? Or what if I take that leap of faith and I have someone lie to me, deceive me again? Or what if I take that leap of faith and I end up losing a lot of money? But they've tried to give you so many signs and clarity. So take the time to go inward, to pray, to ask for signs, ask for guidance. They are going to give you the illumination. They are going to give you so much clarity. Again, you would have to bury your head to, ig to ignore it, to um, not see that those are the signs and messages that they're giving you. Now, I am going to read the book because there may be something in here that will help some of you. Let's see here. Illumination, Archangel Jophiel. Illumination occurs when light fills a space where there was once darkness. The light of consciousness spreads, allowing us to see into a space that was once darkness and mystery of the unknown. After the winter, the sun comes, bringing life, light, and vigor to the silent, sleeping flowers of spring. Illumination often occurs when we least expect it, when we are lost in the dark and have forgotten what the light of day looks like. Up comes the sun in all its glory, lighting our way and filling us with new insight and new inspiration. When we are in darkness, we often lose sight of the bigger picture. We can easily forget that everything comes in phases. Without the darkness of introspection and the unknown, change cannot occur. The phases we experience are extremely important to growth and success in our lives. We must always remember during winter that spring is coming. The sun will rise. No matter how long and dark the night, the sun is rising for you now illuminating all dark corners of your life and of your consciousness. This is a time of rebirth, renewed life, and renewed clarity and inspiration. This is a time of rebirth, renewed life, renewed clarity, and inspiration. Outstanding. I guess they wanted that read twice. <laughs> Within the light of the sun, every color exists, ready to bring that color into our world. There is unlimited potential all around you right now. You have the power to create anything you want for yourself and your life. All color is available to you. Pay attention to awakenings, realizations, ideas, answers, and inspiration. All the answers you've been looking for are revealing themselves to you now. It is a broad range of decisions. Those of you in the situation, this is the anchor. You had someone who you were anchored with, something that you were anchored with. This was your finances, your stability, your home, your life. You had to very swiftly pull that anchor up. For some of you, you haven't yet realized that that's actually a good thing. This is the clover. This is good luck. So maybe you had a lover deceive you. 
lie to you. Maybe you found that someone was trying to get you to make a business decision, um, invest financially in a, in a business decision that would have put you in a, uh, they're saying for many a worse situation. Um, it already wasn't a good situation. It would have found a deeper debt. It was a blessing. It was a blessing. You're just having a hard time seeing that it was a blessing. If you see her in the clouds, you've got storms, lightning bolt tree, but you've got the sun. You are coming into the sun. The things that were taken from you, the, the truth has been brought to us. We have now been able to see through lies, deceit, deception, all these things. We have the clarity. And for money, you had this thing, this person, this situation that you just thought, oh man, this is my foundation. This is my future. This is my rock. I am going to anchor my ship to this. And you found out it wasn't the right, it wasn't the right ship to hitch yours to. It um, wasn't the right situation. Very quickly, that had to be pulled out of the water so you can move forward and be set free. That's a blessing from God. That's been a blessing. That's going to bring you tremendous luck. Allow yourself to see that because you are coming out of the stormy times. This person, this situation, this uh, business, for some of you, potential business partner, you were, you've were you been going through storms and, and turbulence and heartache with that person. Um, for some of you, that group of people, for months and years, the time has come for you to break free. They're helping you do just that. So between God and the angels helping you and all this energy that we have that's going to help you be set free, I hope it does just that for you. Filled with a lot of love, joy, blessings, and miraculous changes that are going to bring you to your hopes, desires, and dreams and bring everything to fruition for you.